everyone, welcome to Content to Profit Live. I'm Sophia Spolino. I'm so excited to share with you the ways that I've been able to make tons of money on the internet. I went from less than $4,000 a month just a year and a half ago to making over $50,000 a month today. And I wanna share my secrets with you. I'm really excited that you're here and I hope that you're ready to learn. Today I'm gonna start by telling you a story how I tweaked an old strategy and have been able to generate hundreds of leads in just a few days to be able to sell thousands of dollars to women around the world. All because I wasn't afraid of not reinventing the wheel. All because I wasn't afraid of throwing away something that I'd already worked for and thinking, oh my God, like this is just not working out for me and I could have easily thrown it away and instead I decided to work on something. And it's been magical. The results that I've gotten in the past three days have been crazy and I wanna help you do this for your business. But even more than that, I want to imbue a new life in you to let you know that nothing is wasted, that any experiences that you've had, anything that you've learned, whether that's in life lessons, relationships, or in business, if you can apply that to everything new that's coming into your world today, you can be better than the day before. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, immortal and genius. Gianna. Hi, everyone. Okay, so my story. For those of you who don't already know, I started on the internet in such a different way. Like, sadly, if you Google me, there's a lot of embarrassing things out there. I started by, started, first of all, I started by sharing actually really important things on the internet. I shared as a life coach, I shared spirituality, I shared, shared sexuality. And in 2020, when COVID got crazy, I spent a lot of time on TikTok. I worked for my ex-partner, I did brand strategy, not only for him and like five different brands, but I also did brand strategy and content creation for brands you know and love around the world and dating apps. And I had a lot of experience in growing other people's brands, making other people money, but never myself. Hey, Jalen, welcome, welcome. Cambria, Lulu. And so one day I simply had enough. I simply had enough of doing this for other people and decided I wanted to build my own brand. And people were like, well, why didn't you just stay doing what you were doing? I could have been a successful dating coach, but I couldn't get my own shit together in my personal dating life to be able to be in alignment with that. So that's when I completely stopped the dating coaching. Hey, Sarah, hello, hello. And I decided to pivot completely into business coaching, doing what I had done behind the scenes for years. Now, what got me to where I was on TikTok wasn't the dating coaching. And it wasn't... I love this. I love these questions. It wasn't necessarily dating coaching, although that was great. And when I created content on TikTok, it would sell, it would convert into coaching clients. But what it got me there was creating an audience of lesbians and people who were into age gap relationships because the algorithm was posed to show me to those people. Now, what you can learn from this and how you can apply to your business is don't post something on a account that you don't want to be known for. So if you start a new account, be sure you're not following people that are not part of the niche. Be sure you're not engaging in content that is not part of the niche. Be very committed to only being involved and showing up exactly how you want to be known in the future. That was the first mistake I made. But I did grow because I did have a strategy. And for so long in my life, I've been like, I need to do something for this platform that I wanted to, that I want to share now. I've already made lots of money. What would happen if I take on an entirely new lead generation platform and I build a new TikTok because the algorithm wants to see something completely different? What if I give the algorithm exactly what it wants? I start fresh. So maybe you're thinking of building a business. I want you to think, okay, maybe I do need to start a brand new social media account. Maybe this is your sign. Let it be your sign. So I did that. But what I want to remind you is God does not let anything go to waste. And the very thing that I thought, man, I worked for 300,000 followers on this platform. And now the algorithm doesn't even want to show me for my new business coaching. What do I do like this? I felt defeated, 
for months I was like, this sucks. I worked for something all to throw it away. For what? I worked for something and now I can't even reach the audience because I'm talking about something completely different. And to be honest, it really broke my heart. It was like, I worked so hard for this thing. Am I going to see anything come from this or does it just have to go to waste? And then over the past few weeks, I've done what I think is the most magical thing about life. And if you're not sure what you're meant to do, hear this. What people reach out to you for when they need help, your closest friends, your closest family, that's most likely your purpose. That's most likely what you are to be known for. That is most likely what you will be able to make the most money in this lifetime with the least amount of effort for. And so over the past couple of weeks, I've had many women reach out to me and say, Sophia, can you match make me? I would love to be in a beautiful relationship like you. I see you fallen in love. I want to do this too. How can you make this happen for me? Can you connect me with your girlfriend? Does she have any friends? Do you have any friends? And I honestly, I'd get those messages and I'd be like, I can't take another thing on my plate. I'm running a wildly successful business. I can't think of another thing, okay? I can't add another thing here. And maybe you're like that. Maybe you're like, there's nothing else I can add. I am at capacity. But there is this voice, and thank you for saying that, Immortal and Genius. There was this voice that was like, wait, like there's something here. There's something here that is like, you need to do something about this. Okay, so what did I do? I started thinking, if I had three women, women in the past week reach out to me, friends, followers, clients, reach out to me. Like people who pay me in social media came to me and said, Sophia, could you please introduce me? Could you please, do you have a friend that, that you're like, does your girlfriend have a friend? And I'm thinking to myself, there's nothing else I can do. I don't know how to help these women. I've already pivoted my business. And then I thought like, God gave me this great idea. That's the coolest thing about ideas is the ideas and the creativity we have. This hair will not stop. <laughs> the ideas and the creativity we have comes from the universe, comes from God. It is superfluous. It is never going to end. Trust that your creative ideas are going to flow. If someone ever copies you, do not be discouraged because like God is just going to keep giving you better and better ideas. Someone needs to hear that right now. Like, there is no competition because God provides all these incredible ideas that just flow from you. And if you are in alignment in your path, doing what you're meant to do, then it is literally impossible for you not to succeed if you're taking action on it. So I got this bright idea. I was like, I'm going to build out a lesbian dating application using my lesbian TikTok. I feel like standing up. I've got too much energy today. <laughs> I am going to build out a lesbian dating application on my TikTok and somehow take the platform that God's already given me and that I've worked for and use it to grab leads to send to my current business goal, okay? So I'm telling you this not to brag about what I've been able to do in the past 48 hours. I'm telling you this so you know it's possible. I'm telling you this to get your wheels turning for your business. Hey, Joshua Harris, I'm so glad you're here. I'm telling you this so you know that this is possible for you. And if you're feeling stuck, that you can get new life and growth in your heart and in your business, and it can come to you in the blink of an eye. So I'm sitting down on a Friday night asking myself, what do I want to do? Do I want to go out for drinks? Like, do I want to hang out with a friend? What do I want to do? And all of a sudden, I just got this revelation of like, all these women are asking for support for the dating. I don't have time to start a matchmaking service. Absolutely not. My goal is to help women build profitable personal brands. My goal is to take marginalized women, lesbians who have not made money in past generations or women in general. Like my grandmother literally never passed the eighth grade, never completed the eighth grade. My aunt was the first woman in my 
in my family to graduate college, yet she had a dream to be an entrepreneur and never pursued it. I am breaking every generational boundary, glass ceiling, everything. And it is my mission to help women and not just women, but marginalized women. Because guess what? Lesbians historically haven't been treated so well and haven't been able to be the ones that generate the most wealth in their family. And so I'm thinking, okay, God, you gave me this platform and like, hey, Stephanie, you gave me this platform. I want to do something with it. I don't want it to go to waste. Like I worked really hard for this thing. And like the thing that you thought you didn't need because you were past that now, like you're on a new level in life. Like you've got a new strategy. You've leveled up. I am here to tell you this morning, and I know you know what it is for you, that God does not waste the small beginnings. God does not waste any skill, any platform that you've worked for. I used to literally be so upset that at 20 years old, my online jewelry store didn't succeed. Yet the strategies that I learned at that time to build websites, to build landing pages, was the very beginning cornerstones foundations of what I needed to understand once I could understand sales psychology to be able to help women build six figure, multi six figure businesses. That was my beginning to that. And so now I look back on everything in my life and I'm like, wow, like there's nothing that I can be, a, you, you know it, watching this, you know it. Like, the things you didn't enjoy doing led you to a thing or someone that led you to the next step of growth in your business. I, I know this for sure for Stephanie. Like me and Stephanie wouldn't even be connected if Stephanie wouldn't have been doing the things she didn't want to do to get to where she is now. And that's why we're connected. And that's why I got to be her coach. And that's why she's in my VIP program. Like the things that we think we discount, God is always using. So I just want to encourage you, regardless of whatever you believe, whatever your faith is, like I'm not super one way or another, but like I am a spiritual woman and I can tell you again and again, God uses the small things and the small beginnings, those baby steps add up. Okay, so back to the story. In this weekend, for those of you just tuning in, in this weekend, I've grown my email list by hundreds of leads, okay? And that's all because... I took some crazy action on a creative idea. And it and look, I could have easily gone, look, I worked all week. I'm tired. There's I want to go have a party. I want to go watch a movie. I want to numb out. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't just put a little note in my phone and say I was going to come back to it later. I took immediate action. Now, why was I able to take immediate action? Because I have skills to do this. I have built a platform and a marketing machine. Now, you get to decide. Today, do you start building that marketing machine so that in a year from now, you can get a bright idea like me and you can immediately implement it because you know what to do. The Women in the Profitable Personal Brand Coaching Membership, where I teach live every single week, are not only building these new skills, but they're getting plug and play, or as I like to say, plug and make money templates to start literally building the dream business of their life, whether that's templates for social media, or templates for building out their programs, they're literally getting it handed to them on a silver platter because I walk so you can run. I made less than $4,000 a month so you can start building your business the right way, immediately start making way more money than me and scale to $20,000 a month much quicker than I ever did. I left thousands and thousands of dollars on the table every year I didn't know these skills. It is an investment to learn these skills. It's almost like going to college to understand sales, marketing, digital marketing, strategy, funnels. But guess what? It works. And whenever it works, it works magic and it works well. Okay, back to the story. For those of you guys just tuning in, I am telling you how this weekend in less than two hours, I generated hundreds of leads for my business that will translate into thousands of dollars in sales Because every time I grow hundreds of followers on my email list, that means more women are reaching out to me and they are targeted and like, note and trust me enough to work with me. So here's what happened. I decided I was gonna build out and use the platform of 300,000 lesbians on TikTok 
and I was going to build a way. Now listen to this very well. People fucking love, and, and Stephanie knows this, quizzes, okay? We're doing this right now in the Profitable Personal Brand Coaching Membership. If you can create a quiz, sorry, my neck has a little crick. Oh, God. Okay, but if you can build a quiz, okay, people love to click on a quiz. If you can help people, people love to know how you can help them for free. And now, this is where it's different. If you have a slightly more, less service-based, more entertainment-based platform featuring people in a way that gets people engaged and excited about who you're featuring is a great tactic. So I thought, if all these women are reaching out to me to get matched, what would happen? And I'm like talking to myself, bear with me, Sophia, what would happen if I took this massive email marketing campaign that I built out, that I have spent literally months building out for myself. And I decided to build out a very quick landing page that was a form that let women quickly realize if you have this problem and you fit this quota, okay, here's the thing I'm targeting, I'm really helping, but I'm targeting only successful lesbians. Women who are empowered, women who have the money to work with me, women who are already poised to take action on their dreams. If you are a successful entrepreneur who just, this is who I'm helping, who just needs help with their social media because they know they could be making more money, that's who I'm working with, right? So this is what I did. I took that same ideal client and I molded her even tighter into, okay, I've got this lesbian audience at the palm of my hand. How can I speak even more clearly to her? So. From there, I created a form. And it's like, if you are this, 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 and I'm painting the picture, if you're tired of scrolling through dating apps because you're successful and you're exhausted of wasting time swiping only to find like literally deadbeat lesbians on the internet because God knows there's so many. Um, and that's why my mission is to help women get richer because this is a very, very poor reputation that the lesbians have. Um, but if you're looking for this and you're tired of this, so I'm hitting the pain point. You're so tired of this thing and you're looking for this thing. And I'm painting the picture of like, you want to meet your dream partner. You want to have someone to build a family with. You want to have the support. You want to have the love and you're tired of playing games and you're ready for commitment. Guess what? The same person who's ready for commitment understands devotion, understands what it's like to be devoted to their business. So I'm speaking to someone who's ready to take action on themselves. I am talking to action takers and I'm saying, just fill out this form and I'd love to feature you. Okay. So from there, I built out an email that immediately goes to them after they fill out the form. They get put on my mailing list and guess what I did? So simple. I took my same mailing list my same campaign drip and I copied and pasted it over here and I went and I plugged in language that speaks exactly to my ideal customer. So I was like, okay, took the same exact fucking emails and I was like, put lesbian jokes in it, put lesbian gifts in it, put lesbian like flirty little vibes. Like I know like you're looking for love and da 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 and like thanks for inviting me into your inbox. This is like a first date, da da da. Like I took everything that I was saying to my ideal client over here, and I just added, I sprinkled a little more ideal client language, ideal client clarity, ideal client humor, ideal client pain points. And then it's like, hey, fill out this application, send it back to me. If, if you're not already aware, I help women with their personal brands. I know you're a successful lesbian. Like, let me know how I can work with you. Boom, that funnel is now being sent. That is a total of 18 emails. And now in just a weekend, I have nearly a thousand new women on my email list. Now a thousand women times 18 emails, not all of them are gonna read it, right? But think how, how much impact that is about to make on my business. Think how many new inquiries I'm going to have. And even if, even if, and this is where you got to stay the course, listen to me well. Even if these women don't work with me today or this month or three months when they need help with personal branding or they, someone in their life says, 
hey, do you know someone who could help with this? They're going to think of me because I'm not just showing up like, hi, I'm Sophia Spolino and I build brands. I'm showing up in the fullness of who I am. I am this woman that overcame this thing. And, and we can relate to each other because we're overcomers. And I'm a queer woman and maybe you've been through something or maybe you are a queer woman too. And maybe you're looking for love and maybe you love love like me. And, and like I'm relating to you on this human level. So you're going to remember me. You're going to remember me because I told you my story. How I got from point A to point Z in this time frame in my email. You're going to remember me because you are like me and I'm like you. That is building connection. That is the first steps to shrinking the time it takes to convert someone into a cold lead into a hot customer. And building these connections takes time. However, if you have the tools in place, you can do what I did in a matter of two hours. You have to understand the power of social media. You have to under, understand and fully claim your ability to make money out of thin air. You've gone to school for it. You're knowledgeable in it. Or maybe you've been coaching in it for a while. Or your life experience is what makes you valuable. Or maybe you provide a service. Whatever it is for you, show up as a real human on the internet. Show up and sell that thing. Build those connections and watch what happens. But don't just make the connection once. Don't just show up on someone's for you page once because that's not gonna do anything, that's not enough. I'm not here to teach women how to sell $50 an hour package here. People are really investing in you. Investing in you and your expertise. Meaning you have to show up consistently and say I am all of this. You want all of this, you gotta pay for it, right? But they're gonna be so happy to pay for it if you show up and you're like, all of this. And I'm consistent and I show up and I share how I solve problems. I share my client reviews, I share my client stories. People will like, know, and trust you. I'm so excited to have all these women not only go through this funnel, but every time I drop a new campaign, they're gonna be on the list now. How amazing is that? How amazing is it that we live in a world where we do not have to serve a customer that we don't like? How amazing in it is it where we live in a world that we can say, I don't want to work with you. There's a million other women out there who'd want to work with me. How amazing is it that we live in a world where we get to target our ideal customer because of an algorithm? We can sit here all day and complain about an algorithm or we can be thankful for the gift it is and what we get to do with it. We can sit here and blame an algorithm for lack or we could be thankful for the algorithm for the abundance that it brings. That it literally can align you with your ideal client and that you don't have, trust that you do not need to reach everybody. You just need to reach somebody. And I don't care what your faith is because I'm not like one thing or another, but I do resonate with Jesus because I was raised super Christian. And even though I've gone through like complete deconstruction, I have been feeling called back to like Jesus's words, not the whole Bible, but just Jesus's words. And it's like, Jesus was really cool. And he left the crowd to serve the one. Where in your content can you stop trying to serve everybody and serve the one woman who just needed to know that she could trust you. That just needed to know that there was someone out there who could listen. When everyone else discounted her pain. Like Stephanie who helps women like, like me with autoimmune issues. When I've had doctors discount my pain and say, you look healthy. We don't need to run that test. We're not going to run that blood work. But Stephanie's like, we're running everything. I'm going to help you figure out exactly what to do so that you can be healthy. Because guess what? I've got all these new desires now. I'm like, I'm in love. I want to be able to have a baby. And I'm not going to let my health stop me. I needed someone like Stephanie to show up in her content and go speak directly to me and say, I can help you. I'm going to care. And I've done this before. Here's the evidence. I've done this before with other women around the world. I've been able to help them. You're next. With clarity and confidence, 
she can tell me exactly that she's going to be able to reduce my symptoms. And this is what, like, if you guys want to know what good social media is, go follow Stephanie because we've been working together for like five months, something like that. I'm so excited. Like, it's just been the best relationship ever. And like, her world, her social media has completely transformed. I'm so proud of the business owner that she's stepping into. Like, she's always been her. She's always had these tools. And now she's like showing up in a way that's so elevated. So elevated so people can like, know, and trust her. Because guess what? Whether you're a therapist, a nutritionist, a fitness instructor, a stylist, your degree isn't what sells things to people on the internet. How you show up and you say, I'm the one God made me for this. God made me for this moment to see you and say, I can help you. And you know what? I can get really emotional because she's helping me with my health. But what's really cool about what I do is I'm like, I was made for this. Because every time I impact a woman, it's going to impact the way that her kids get children get to inherit her and her relationship around money and her business. Every time I help a woman, it's going to affect how much abundance her family has and what her vacations are going to look like and what her time freedom is going to look like. I am not here to play small miss business. And I want to help you if you're ready to get to that next level where you're like, Sophia, I, I need the juice. I need the juice. I've got the juice. When you join the Profitable Personal Brand Coaching Membership, I hold your hand and we run the fuck together. I walked so you can run. I am here to show up for you and say, I will not, if you're not going to let yourself fail, I will never abandon your side. Like if you're in, let's fucking go because we live in 2023 and the internet is powerful. All you need is the strategy. All you need is the systems. All you need is a template to go, look, I've done this, 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 it fucking works. You need someone who can go, I did it. My clients have done it. You can do it too. And I'm not just giving you basic ass shit that you can get anywhere. I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass. Like this actually works and it's worked with many people. And I make it so simple. I literally provide you content prompts every week. I provide you templates for anything that we're building out, whether that's an email, a landing page, a call to action, a piece of content structure, selling in your stories. I give you the plug and play, or as I like to say, plug and make money. Because guess what? I did it slow. I did this so fucking slow. And you know what? Now I don't make less than now. It was about 15, but now it's really 18 to $20,000 a month is a bad month. So listen to me here. And I, I'm grateful for it, don't get me wrong. But I, I love my $30,000 moms. I love my $50,000 moms. Um, but here's the thing. I got to where I'm at slow. Because I didn't invest in the solution fast enough. So like for a year that I was on my own, making money for other people, I wasn't building my brand. I wasn't building my own social equity. I want to encourage you today for every day that you're wasting not building your social equity. Look, I don't care if it's with me or if you hire another coach, cool, whatever. Like get support so you can get there faster because, okay, $4,000 a month was what I was making, okay? And let's just say $10,000 a month more. That's underestimating, but $10,000 a month more is like a bad month, right? So $10,000 a month, you times that by a year, I was leaving $120,000 on the table at my beginning point. Now I'm making way more than that. But at my beginning point, I left $120,000 a year on the table if I would have only known. And I want to help you. So if like you're watching this and you're like, okay, I'm next, I'm next, shoot me a DM and I'm going to give you the information about the membership. And I will give you the details on the pricing because 
there's a lot of bonuses if you come in for a year or if you at least commit to a specific amount of months. So there are ways to work with me on that. And I'd love to talk with you. I wanna know your dreams. I wanna know what it is for you, why you're showing up here. Hey, Bella, why you believe in yourself so strongly and why? Because there's something in you that's like, I was meant for more. Like I wasn't meant for just having like this basic life where I go work for someone else. And like, you're not going to have that. You're never going to have that because you can't settle for that. Like your spirit, your soul would die at a fucking desk for somebody else. Like you would die, you'd shrivel up and just like it, you'll never let yourself get there. So if you're struggling with your service provider business or coaching business to get to that next level, you're already like bringing in revenue, but you're like, damn, like I want to get on Sophia's level. Let's go. Let's go because you can. Like, I am not an anomaly. I am just a woman with discipline. I am just a woman with grit. I am just a woman with grace. I am just a woman who follows my heart. I'm just a woman who follows my intuition. I'm just a woman who takes radical action every freaking day because I know I was made for more because nothing can stop me. And I know that someone out there is thinking this. You're like, it's me. Nothing can stop me. I was made for more. Be in full agreement with that. Because all it takes is writing down what you want and like taking the little action steps every day to get there. You're going to get there. But if you don't know the action steps to take, it might look a little like this. And if you do know the action steps to take, it might look a little bit like this. You know, it might not be this straight shot, but you'll at least be going in the right direction. Okay, my loves, does anyone have any questions? I'm happy to answer them. I'm so ready to answer them. I'm so glad that you came. Let's see. Stephanie said, with God, everything is possible. Mother May says, girl, I'm 36, struggling with my jewelry business. Wish I had more time to focus on building your brand. Mother May, I have to tell you, the best advice I can give you is to set aside time daily and make this a priority. The minute you go from this is my little hobby to this is my business, this is my plan A, there is nothing that can stop me. I know I was meant to do this. I am going to dedicate time to it every day. I will not get distracted. I will not slow down my momentum. I will post on social media every day and I'm gonna learn how to post the things that actually sell. Like I'm gonna work with Sophia or whoever you wanna work with and figure out what's gonna actually move the needle for your business. Actually get you to that next step because the minute you start bringing in revenue, you're gonna be like, I can do this. And you let the momentum build and build and build and soon enough, you're gonna have a thriving business. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that it's not going to take action. It's going to take action. But look, if, if you weren't an action-taking woman and you were just like a trying, like I'm trying to do this, you wouldn't be watching me. I ain't got time for that shit. You are doing women here. You are doing the thing. Hey, Chris, what's up? Okay, so that's what I got for you today. I want you to go take action. There's someone out here who's like got a little idea and they're like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could do that thing. No, like go do it. Like I put this whole landing page together, start bringing in thousands of leads in just, well, almost a thousand leads at this point in just two hours. If I can do it, you can do it. Ooh, Bella says, how can I get over feeling embarrassed on camera? I'm super introverted. Bella, um, do you believe in what you have to share? What are you sharing? Does it come from your heart? And why do you think that people like me are worthy to be on camera, but maybe you're not? Where is that coming from? Why do other people get to show up on social media and show their face? What makes you feel afraid? Like you're not worthy to be seen because that's coming from a deeper rooted issue of it's dangerous for me to be seen 
maybe someone's going to perceive me in a certain way. Maybe this is going to result in an action where I end up feeling rejected. Look at the moment in your childhood where you first felt rejection. Because guess what? I'm on the internet and some people just don't like me. I trigger them. In fact, this weekend, oh, good story. This weekend I went out with a friend and my friend was like, oh, one of my friends came up to me and they were like, you're friends with her? She's so cringy on the internet. Mm. Yes, I am, bitch. Yes, I am. But also I make loads of money and I have hit over $50,000 months and I never have to think about what's in my bank account because of my cringy content, because the way I show up that I'm confident and that confidence leaks out. Have you ever heard like you bump into someone's cup and like whatever's in their cup is gonna spill out on you, like whatever their energy is? I'm so excited that my cringy like content leaks out onto women around the world to help them believe in themselves, to help them make more money, to help them figure out what their offers are, map them out and start making more money than ever because of the content, because they can show up in their full energy who they are. Because Bella, you can, you can. And what in you is afraid to be called cringy? Because I guarantee that nobody who is ever successful wasn't told you can't do that, wasn't told you look silly trying to solve that problem. Like think about the people who invented like the Wright brothers, like they literally invented like flying. You think people weren't like sitting there being like, <laughs> y'all are so stupid. You think you're gonna be like a bird? You think you're gonna fly? You look so stupid. You don't think that people told them that? There is evidence that teenagers with cell phones can make thousands and thousands of dollars. There's evidence that powerful women in the world can show up on social media and sell their services. There's evidence that spiritual entrepreneurs are making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month. There's evidence that service providers are building huge social media marketing agencies. There's evidence that service providers are building huge businesses, whether you are in aesthetics, whether you are in nutrition, whether you are in fitness, there is evidence of what's possible for you. So you don't have to look around when someone's saying, you, you can't do that. You don't have to look around and go, well, I gotta figure out how to get this plane up there and I've never seen it before, so I can't imagine that. No, you get to look at who's run before you. You get to link arms with someone who's done it before. You get to look at examples of powerful women who have done this before you. And Bella, I'd love to help you. Oh, and Mordo Indigenous says, it's hard for you with your voice on social media because that's from childhood trauma. Absolutely, absolutely. So I invite you to look at that, point out where it's come from and go, but I'm not that powerless little girl anymore. What happened to me happened but I take back my power and I know what I was created to share and who I was created to be. And I will not let any lies that someone told me, any seeds of doubt that someone planted in my head get in my way because I am Sophia Marie Spolino and I'm gonna make a fuck ton of money doing what I love. And I want you to replace your name in there. Replace your name in there. Look in the mirror and remind yourself who you are. Because if you're here, you know that there's more out there for you. You know that there's more in here that you can't deny. When you're ready to get to your next level, when you're ready to go from less than five, less than $10,000 a month and scale your coaching business, shoot me a DM. I would absolutely love to work with you. I want to be the one to work with you. I want to be the one to see you go farther than you've ever gone before. And I believe in how capable you are to making whatever your dream reality is your everyday life. You are capable. You are worthy. You are fully supported. And you can make it happen.
See you next week.